thought it were a bit murky when I was filling it kettle. I'll get on to waterboard when I get to the cabin. No point in doing it now, they won't be out of bed yet. Oh, I don't think I fancy drinking that. Have we anything drinkable in the fridge? Have a look. By the way, I shall be writing to your dad tonight. Again? You only wrote to me a couple of days ago. It's a week, if you must know. Hey, go on. Hey, don't turn flowering and enjoying yourself. So, anyway, are you going to drop him a line? Because I know he'd be glad to hear from you. And you didn't last time, did you? Yeah, well, I'm no good at letters. I get all tongue-tied. It's different when I'm talking. Oh, you can say that again. Well, I think you should force yourself. Because he wants to hear from you, you know. So why don't you sit down and write him a couple of pages tonight? Oh, well, I might be going out tonight. Depends what Martin's doing. Hey, considering you're supposed to be swatting, you're doing a heck of a lot of going out. Look, why don't you have a night in, do a bit of revising, and write your dad a letter while you're about it? Yeah, all right, if he'll stop you nagging at me. Nagging? Me? I'm temperamentally incapable of doing any such thing. Mm. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Ah, oh, Mrs Ogden, the very woman. I was going to call out your house, so I've saved myself an errand. Oh, yes. Tea test, does that ring a bell? I was telling young Kevin I've got a couple of tea tests over at Community Centre, just a thing for putting your bits and pieces in when you're going to do a flit. Well, yes, I dare say, but they're not flitting yet, are they? They've got nowhere in mind and they're quite happy where they are. That's now doing the there. The point is, those tea tests have got to be out the centre today to make room for other stuff. Now, do you want them or don't you? Well, I'll ask Kevin tonight. That's no good. They've got to be out today. Oh, well, we best have them then. But I can't go humping great tea chests about. No, I'll, I'll fetch him across for you. I'll fetch him over at dinner time. Yeah, right. Oh, no, wait a minute. Hang on. I might not be in dinner time. I've got a social engagement. Uh, I tell you what, leave me in my backyard. We'll go. Sorry about that. You can carry on serving your customer. Oh, now. thank you very much. Are you having that, Mrs Ogden? Well, I don't know, really. I was thinking of buying it for young Sally. Oh, she likes cookery, does well, she? Well, she's never done very much, you know, but with her being a married woman well, now. Well, there's some well. lovely recipes in there. I've tried the Hungarian goulash myself. Oh, and this lovely illustration there from Moussaka. Oh. Hungarian goulash moussaka? I'm hearing right. You're never going to spend good money on instructions for making muck like that, are you? Well... Well, do, well, do you eat it? Not personally, Of course no. you don't. So I go force it on to young Sally so she can go ladling that foreign muck down young Kevin. Oh, really, Mr Sugden? It's excellent food and highly nutritious. The best thing you can do, Mrs Ogden, is let young Sally watch you in your kitchen cooking good English food. I mean, you don't want to buy this rubbish. Spend the money on some good, honest steak and kidney. Yes, well, I think perhaps I'll leave it for the moment, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Mrs Ogden. Oh, really, Mr Sugden? What's the matter? Well, Mrs Ogden was going to buy that. I've lost a sale and young Sally's lost a very useful gift. I mean, you go pushing into other people's Just business. Just a minute. Now, if you were young Sally and Elder Ogden gave you a cookbook, you'd think she was trying to tell you something, wouldn't you? Oh, well, I see what you mean. Oh, it's dawn, does it? If you were being got at. Well, that never occurred to me. No, of course it hadn't, because if you'll excuse me saying so, you've got no tact. No tact at all. You just go leaping in, upsetting people. They're going to be really nice, Ivy. Yeah, well, they start to look somewhat like with buttonholes are done, don't they? They are going to be done in time, aren't they? Yeah, of course they are. Don't worry. And it's like being up job for Princess Di's wedding dress, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you'd think so, for all the fun. No, fair does. They are nice children's clothes, though, aren't they? Yeah, lovely. They seem just as good on Salford Market. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hey, we're paying for all this fancy stuff, you know, us workers, so they can fiddle about with all the control, and it'll come to now in the finish. Just mighty mouse keeping the little woman happy, isn't it? Hey, up. Jam and blast it. What's up, Ivy? This machine, I think it's broken. Well, it can't have. It can, you know. It's dead temperamental, this thing. Well, what are we going to do? We've got to get the samples ready this afternoon. The kids are coming to try them out. What's the problem? This machine is gone, Mr Bolt. We've got to get these samples done, Mike. It's vital. Well, there's no panic. Just fix the button holder to another machine. Uh, Vera's. Then Ivy takes over Vera's machine. Bob's your uncle. Oh, Mike, for a minute, then... Don't I... mention it all in a day's work to a mastermind. <laughs> right, come on. Off that machine, Vera. Oh, great. And what am I gonna do? Don't worry, we'll find something to keep you busy. Right, girls, now, you've been a wonderful audience. I mean that sincerely. Now, let's just get on with the work, shall we? Mike, for a minute then, I was having kittens. That's OK by me, any time you like. As long as one of them's a Tom. Sorry, Vera. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at, eh? 
say Martin isn't a nice lad. He is. It's the age difference that worries me. I mean, that two or three years to a girl like Jenny... Oh, I don't know. Mm. I know she's old for her years in many ways. Mind you, she's not that mature. Girls that age never are. They only think they are. Mm. And then again, the world's coming to an end at half past eight tonight. Rot news this morning. Mm. Mavis, what's up with you? Are you brooding about Summit? Look, this is a serious question, Rita. Would you say that I was tactless? No, I wouldn't say that. Oh, God. I might think it, mind you. In fact, I do quite often, but I wouldn't say it. And do you know why I wouldn't say it? Because I have tact. Oh. Unlike some people I could mention. Am I too soon? No, no, you're just right. Oh, <laughs> Come on yeah. through while I get my coat on. Thank you. Oh. Would you like a cup of tea? Well, I thought we'd get off if you like. Perhaps have a bite to eat before we go down to allotment. There's, there's a nice little pub close by and they do a decent lunch. Oh, that sounds very nice, I'm sure. Well, you want something warm inside you this time of year, don't you? Yeah. And my greenhouse is heated, so you'll not be cold in there. Oh, I'll enjoy it, don't you worry. I don't get that many outings, you know, so I'm not choosy about where I get taken. Oh, you don't get that many outings, don't you? Well, we'll have to see about that, won't we? Oh. Hey, <laughs> are you set, then? Oh, yes, I'll just put Here, let me do that. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> 18 pink change. Kevin, shall I put it in the box? Oh, it's late. It's my change, and I want it. Oh, come on, Kevin, lad. Christmas is coming, isn't it? I know it is, and that's why I want my change. I've got a lot of expenses. I'm a married man, remember? Yeah, well, it serves you right. Don't come moaning to me for sympathy, because you won't flaming get it. How's the staff appreciation fund coming along, Jacko? Terrible. Terrible? How's that? Yeah, I do. That doesn't sound too healthy. Yeah, well, they're a miserable lot round here, aren't they? Did you? They get folks' backs up every time wagging that damn silly thing under their noses when they want to drink. Give over. You've got to do that, otherwise you'll get nout. You're getting nout now by the sound of it. Very worrying to me, is that? Well, why is it worrying to you? I mean, that, that box there is between Betty, Elder and, and me. I mean, we're staff. You're not staff. You're boss. Exactly. That's why I'm worried. If my customers aren't putting money into that staff appreciation box, what does that tell me? That they don't appreciate my staff. Now, the customer's always right, so my staff must be doing something wrong. Can you uh, fault me so far, Betty? Well, not so far. No. So maybe I should be looking for some uh, staff that my customers can appreciate. Thanks, Jacko. Thanks for what? Well, for thinking up this uh, staff evaluation scheme in the first place. It's a big help. You see, if I'd have thought it up, you'd have gone on strike. Now look what you've done. Yeah, I can. What are you? Give us a large scotch g and tea, please. A small scotch and an orange juice, please, Beck. They are. She's even got her drinking habits organised now. You don't look to be going short about to me. No, he isn't. I've gone off it. Oh. oh. The boss is wife. Who do you think? I'm with you, Vera. Oh, she's not so bad. You what? So I'll admit I didn't have a lot of time for her at first, but... Well, she's not so bad considering. Considering what? Well, considering she's never had to graph for all. I mean, well, it's just fine her lap, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah she's telling She's coming me. on them. Hello, ladies. I'd like to know what you want to drink with me. Hey, oh, what's all this in here? Is it somebody's birthday? No, it's just a little thank you for all the extra work you've been doing on my hopscotch gear. Oh. Well, some of us haven't done any work on it. We've not been asked. I still want to know what you'd like to drink. I mean, you never know, Shirley. If things work out, we could all be working on hopscotch gear before long. You must fancy all you know, my Uncle Tom. What do you mean, fancy? How do you think I mean? The same way you fancy me? Mm, not possible, darling. <laughs> yeah, all right. But I learned for age and wear and tear and that. Well, he must fancy her, mustn't he? I mean, he doesn't just take anyone round to us a lot, you know. But anyway, it's December, isn't it? I mean, what is there to look at an allotment in December? Mm, so, you reckon they're going to get it together, do you? Well, it'd be nice if they'd got a fella, wouldn't it? She's always going on about her stan and what a prince he were and all that. But from what I can make out, she didn't have much of a life, really. Yeah, maybe not. She seems to think she did. Mm, we're all the same when it comes to fellas as women. We're totally balmy. I know. I've been telling you that for ages. <laughs> You want something? Waterboard, pal. Waterboard, eh? Is that right? We've had a complaint about discoloration. It's your house, is it? 
No, I'm just a neighbour. Oh. Well, I'm supposed to find out who's getting discoloration, you see. Oh, well, you would be, wouldn't you? Oh! Gordon Bennett, I've done me back with these boxes. You want to watch it, lifting stuff like that. You couldn't just help us out, could you? What do you want doing with them? Well, they want stacking in there, you could just, uh... I know, bother. Gotcha, you thieving slime! You did, Mrs. Bishop, or you made your match now! Hell, you Help! Police! Help! <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll put the kettle on if you fancy a copper. Oh, just a job. Now, I'll have to think where to put this. It it'll want sunshine, won't it? Oh, any windowsill where there's a bit of light. Oh. Right, well, I'll have a think. Now, uh, make yourself comfortable while I get a brew on. Oh, thanks very much. Come on. Come on, Dave. Come on, get the door off us. What's to do? There's somebody in my backyard. Making a right racket, you know. Going on? On this flaming door! Don't just stand here. You're about as much using a crisis as a cardboard chip pan. Well, what else do you want me to do? I've already rang with the police, haven't I? I'll oh. nip to one side, I'll shift the plank, my lad will yeah, come you... stumbling out off balance, and when he does, crack him one with that broom handle. Beggar that for the game of soldiers. You keep your back against that flipping door. Come hey, on, man. What's what going on? What do you think you're doing? We've trapped a burglar. We haven't. I've trapped him. What, oh, trying to burgle my outside lobby? Oh, trying to break in your house. I lured him into here. Well done, that man. Oh, well, I, I rang the police, you see. I came running out when I heard Percy yelling and crying. Oh, you talk oh, about yelling and crying. Oh, I just called for her assistance in a calm and orderly fashion. Oh, hey, up. There's a the police. He cracked on here a waterboard man, but I spotted him right off with one of them that robbed Emily Bishop. Oh, well, it's a good job you was here, Percy. I'm never so great. Aye. Oh, no, officer. Uh, I've, I've trapped a burglar. This man, I've got him here. He's, he's caught. What's going on? I've uh, caught a burglar for you. I made a citizen's arrest. All right, so you can stand aside. We'll take over now. Watch it. He's violent. You want your truncheon out? Where is he? I'll kill the daft old beggar. We'll do. Watch your mouth, you. He's had me locked in there. Give him a crap with your truncheon, officer. It's only language you understand. Look, I'm just trying to do my job, that's all. And I get set on by a lunatic. Who are you? A waterboard. What do I look like? Jack the Fleming Ripper. He's bluffing. Get him locked hey, up. Hey, up, hang on, hang on. I recognise him. He's from Waterboard. Well, of course I'm Waterboard. Right. I'll have your name. I'm just trying to be a good citizen, as is my bounden duty. It's an interfering old devil, always was. He played the flaming life out of me. I was just about to get me head down to have a kip, and I could hear this barb but shouting blue murder. He wants putting away a bloke like that. Come on, I want your name. I'll thank you not to talk to me in that tone, young man. I said name. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, Jenny, that was quick, your first back. Well, I'm like lightning me when I get my skates on. <laughs> hey, where's Rita? She's not gone home, has she? No, of course she hasn't gone home. She's gone to the wholesalers. You've just missed her, actually. Has she only just gone? Yeah. Oh, there's not much part hanging around here, then, is there? It's boring. Oh, thank you very much. Well, I'm obviously not the only one round here who's lacking in tact. Eh? Oh, never mind. Don't matter in the slightest. It's all right. See you. Oh, hey up, Ivy. It's playtime. Hello. Have I come to the right place? Oh, yes, of course you have, love. They're expecting you. Come on, I'll take you in. Hello, you too. Hello. I'm just doing last outfit, but I won't be five minutes. Hello. Hi. Come on, Hello. Oh, oh. Visitors. <laughs> Hello, Sandra. Hello, Hello you lot. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just finishing last outfit, Mr. Holmes, so I'll get back to it. Right, thanks, Ivy. Oh, you've not met Mike, have you? Mike, this is Sandra, who's been so helpful. She's got our models for us. Nice to meet you. Um, thanks for bringing them in. You can spare them for an hour or two, huh? Yeah, that'll be OK. Now, you'll be a good girl, won't you, for Susan? Oh, of course you will. Hello, soldier. What's your name? This is Mark. It's Mark, it's Mark, isn't it? I bet you like sweets, don't you? Well, I keep some in my drawer for important customers. Let's see if we can find them, shall we? Eh? If I come back and pick them up about there. six o'clock, that'll be fine, won't it, Mike? Now, yeah, let's see what's doing. Mike? Yeah? Oh, yeah, sure. Leave them as long as you like. Now, would you like to take one, though? I'm just a bit of a kid. Never said that, did I? 
You used to think it, didn't you? Oh, I didn't really know you then, though, did I? Do you still think it? Um, no, do I? Ache? Good. Let's settle then. Hmm. I've been. I thought you were doing some revising. I am. Don't look like it. Yeah, well, well, Martin's having with me maths, aren't you, Martin? That's right. Good. You could do with some help with your maths, as long as it's not multiplication. This one? Well, the yep. price should be on it. Yes. Six pounds. Okay. Thanks very much. Bye. Redmond the florist. Hello, Maggie. It's Sandra. Oh, hi, Sandra. What's up? I can't get the car to start. I've been trying for ten minutes. Well, it could be the battery. Mind you, what I know about cars. Well, I'm supposed to go and collect the kids from Hopscotch. You couldn't do it, could you? Oh, sure, I can pick them up. I'm shutting in ten minutes anyway. Uh, but you'll have to tell me the name of the um, firm. Hopscotch, wasn't it, and the address? Well, it's off Rosamond Street, a little back street called Coronation Street. Coronation Street? Yeah, and the factory's called Baldwin Casuals. Did you say Baldwin? Yes. What's wrong? What's wrong? Everything. Right, half past five. Better get open it up. Sort the door out for us, will you, Betty, love? What are you doing to that box? Nothing. Don't tell lies. I heard you. You're trying to get money out of that. Oh, would I do a thing like that, Betty? Yes, you would, in my opinion. Well, it's very hurtful. You must know I'm, I'm putting money in. Put it! Pull the other one. Look, I was, I was, I was. Look, all, all these 1P coins were lying on, on my bedside table. Do you know you get changed when yeah. you go to bed? Mm. Well, they've been there for ages, and they're, they're all little fiddly things, but they all mount up, don't they? So, uh, what, uh... <laughs> Well, you heard what Bet said. She thinks we're doing no good because the staff appreciation box is doing no good. So I thought I'd get a load of these, put them in, give the box a bit of weight, a bit of rattle, then she's got no excuse for getting none of the other staff, has she? Give over. She's having yum. Yeah, well, you might think so, but when he gets to Christmas and we share this lot out, don't let her see the one P pieces, will you? Tell her it's all full of 50 Ps. Do you know what? You're mad, you. I heard that and I agree, but why? Uh, because B Bet said, B B Betty said, it, it was, uh, it, you don't have to be mad to work here, but it <laughs> helps. And how you've got the nerve to walk in here, Percy Sugden, I'll never know. I can hold my head up. I've done nothing to be ashamed of. Quite right, Percy. I heard what happened. I'm here to tell you I'm on your side. You Thank what? You. He locked the waterboard man in Elder Ogden's petty, and you should have heard him egging the police on to batter him. He brought it on himself. It was acting very furtive. You yeah, we were very lucky him and his mates didn't cut the water off in the street after what you did. Lucky? Unlucky, you mean? Think of the ale I could have sold if nobody could have made a cup of tea. You're on a free pint, Percy, for a good try. Thank you very much. Yeah, if there were more people like Percy who took an interest and had a bit of a go, folks like me wouldn't be so nervous walking up and down the street at night. Thank yeah. you. I was just doing my duty, that's all. Where the police were going on at me, I think I was some sort of public nuisance. Mm. Well, it's not a fly see by to eye with the bobbies, but. Oh, we've got to do something. Look, we're here now, Wally. Now, what are you girls hanging around for, eh? Well, we thought we'd wait and see what could his outfits look like, Mr. Baldwin. Yeah. God blimey, Vera, you are my premises in your own time. I moved. I mean, there's hope for Britain yet. Are you being sarky? Yeah, stop me shedding a tear. Let you see what a soft heart I got. Soft heart? You? Yeah. Yeah. I bet I'm the best oh, boss you've ever had, aren't you? Oh, oh, hello. What have we got here? Oh, they're coming. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Mr. Bowen? Oh, they're very, very nice. Well done, Ivy. Oh, where's the camera? On the desk, love. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
It's going to record this for posterity, the first creation of the world famous hopscotch ray. Yeah. Yeah. Very vivid imagination. Of course, I have. It's very useful. You never give up, do you? Well, what are you doing here? I mean, what, 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 what do you want? Hello, do you like the clothes? Like I said, you just don't give up, do you? Do you two know each other? Come on, Mark. Come here. Well, is he? A bit... Are you his mum? Oh, don't give me the innocent patter, Mike. I told you to stay away from him, and you said you would. I was stupid enough to believe you, and I should have known better. Look, I, 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 I honestly didn't know. I, I swear. Liar. Is that him? Well, he's a lovely little boy. You stay away from him, Mike. Stay away from both of us. Come on, Mark. Come on, Natasha. Your mummy asked me to take you oh, home. What's the matter? What's happening? And you I... needn't play the innocent either. What did you mean, Mike? What's happening? Would somebody mind telling me just what that was all about? 